in this part we'll talk about excretory system excretion means elimination of nitrogenous waste and cockroaches excrete uric acid that means they are uricopelic and for excretion or elimination of this waste there are certain sub uh, structures the major one is malpighian tubule so the first excretory organ or structure they are called malpighian tubules malpighian tubules are found or they are present between mid gut and hind gut so these are finger like structures between mid and hind gut normally their number is 100 to 150 and they are found in bundles so if these 100 to 150 finger like structures are there in bundles we would find that the number of bundles is less so number of bundles is normally 6 to 10 now if we see the section what exactly we see is we see a layer of cells so there are big cells which are here and on the free surface the cells or in the inner surface the cells are going to have cilia so these are those large cells which are going to help in elimination of the waste material and the waste is collected from the body cavity which is known as hemocele in case of cockroaches and outside this there is this basement membrane because this epithelium it is going to rest on basement membrane so these are the cells which are going to remove the waste so this is transverse section of malpighian tubule now let us draw where exactly we find these malpighian tubules suppose this is the mid gut part and hind gut is wider than mid gut so here is this hind gut part at the junction of mid and hind gut we find these finger like structures we are drawing only few so that we are able to understand what exactly is going to happen now these malpighian tubules are in this area which is actually the body cavity which is filled with hemolymph so now from hemolymph these malpighian tubules are going to absorb the waste and finally the waste would be dumped into the hind gut so from here also the waste would be taken and ultimately the waste would be eliminated through the alimentary canal only so the main excretory organ or structure are malpighian tubules the second structure which helps in excretion in cockroaches they are known as urate cells or sometimes they are also called urate bodies in fat cells and they actually remove the waste by storage excretion these are large yellowish colored irregular cells they keep collecting the uric acid once they get completely loaded with uric acid these cells go and get attached on the inner side of the exoskeletal plate suppose say this is the tergum that is the dorsal plate so urate cells would get attached on the inner side so these are all the loaded urate cells loaded means they are full with uric acid now when cockroaches undergo molting that is the time when this exoskeleton is lost and new exoskeleton is secreted so if this tergal plate is lost along with it the urate cells will also be lost that means their mode of excretion is storage excretion so they keep storing the waste till they get full once they are full with that uric acid they go and get attached on the inner side of the uh, exoskeleton it could be tergum sternum or pleura and when molting 
takes place, these plates are lost and along with this, this uric acid containing urate cells will also be lost. The third structure, they are called nephrocytes. They also collect the waste and they get attached on the inner side of pleura. So again, they would show storage excretion. That means the waste is eliminated by storing it for some time. Once the cell is full of that waste, then only the cell is lost. So cell is also lost along with it. The nitrogenous waste, which is uric acid in case of cockroaches, is also lost. So main structure which helps in, el in elimination of nitrogenous waste are malpighian tubules, which are present at the junction of mid gut and this one is the hind gut. The structure, inner structure we have seen, they would collect all the waste and the cilia would help in conduction of the waste up to the elementary canal. So this will be lost along with the undigested food. So structure, main structure, malpighian tubule and there are two more cells which help in elimination of uric acid. Now in the next part, we'll take up the nervous system of the